In this help video, I will show you how to upload your slides so you can create your own in-class or virtual presentation. I will also show you how you can integrate questions and activities so you can create your own live polling sessions. Under My Bank, you'll be able to find the slides that you have uploaded separated from the quizzes you have created. To upload your slide deck, you have to click on the Create button. Once you have uploaded your slide deck, you can present it by clicking on the Beam button on the top right corner. Or you can integrate questions and activities by clicking on the plus button on the top of the screen. This is a short answer question. You write your question and then you add your answer or multiple correct answers. And you can choose if you'd like to add right or wrong answer feedback. On the right side, you'll find that you can customize the level of difficulty and Bloom's taxonomy. You can also select if you want to grade your students based on efficacy, participation, both or neither. We will also add a multiple choice question. Here, you write the question and add your distractors. You can also upload images to each possible answer to make it more illustrative. You can drag either your slides or your questions to accommodate how you would like to present your slideshow or live polling session. To present your live polling session, you can click on the beam button on the top right corner. Here you can customize if you want it to be graded, and if you do, you can check efficacy and participation. You then select your class section. Now you can start your live polling session. In this video, I will show you how to create your own in-class or virtual live polling session so you can evaluate your students on efficacy and or participation. Under My Bank, you will be able to find all of the previous quizzes that you have already created separated from the slide decks that you have uploaded. To start building your own quizzes, you select Create on the top left corner and select Quizzes. Now you add your quiz title and then quiz description. To choose from the different formats available for questions and activities, you click on the plus sign at the top of the screen. We're going to start with a short answer question. Here you write the question and then add your answer or multiple correct answers. And then you can choose if you would like to add writing wrong answer feedback. The following is a multiple choice question. Here, you write the question and then the correct answer and distractors. You can also upload images to each possible answer to make it more illustrative. The next question is in a multiple select format. You write your question and then you select which ones are going to be the correct answers by checking the boxes. The distractors will be left unchecked. To build your diagram, you add your question and then you upload your image. On the left side, you have the different colors that you can see to create the hotspots and color code it. On the right, you have your tools. You can use the pen to outline your hotspots more precisely. You then add your term and you can add descriptions as well. This can be a click on target activity or a matching activity. On the right side, you'll find that you can customize the level of difficulty and Bloom's taxonomy. You can customize if you would like to grade your students based on participation, efficacy, both, or neither. To present your live polling session, you can click on the beam button on the top right corner. Here, you can customize if you want it to be graded, 
and if you do, you can check efficacy and participation. You then select your class section. Now you can start your live polling session. To start your live polling or slide session, you can click on the start beam button on the top right corner. Here I will show you both the student's view on the right side and the instructor's view on the left. All the student has to do is click on join and then wait for the instructor to start the beaming session. Let's start beaming. Here you'll find our first slide. The list option on the bottom left corner shows the total slides present. This works for both slides and quizzes. Now you can easily navigate through all of your slides. You can also find another option at the bottom of the page to make any necessary adjustments or highlights to any aspect of the slide being presented. Clicking on this option will reveal colors to mark the slides. Besides the highlights or colors, you will find a button to either increase or decrease the size of the highlighters being used. To remove any marks made on the slide, an undo option is available. To delete any or all of the marks made on the slide, there is also the delete button available. If you click on this arrow, this will take you automatically to the next slide. This is a short answer question. All the student has to do is type in their answer and click submit response. The open key will enable the student to make any changes in their answer, while clicking on close will freeze the student's view. Clicking on review will show you the answers that the students have submitted. Then clicking on answer will show you the correct answer and all of the rest of the answers that have been submitted. Once the student has finished answering, the answers will be visible to the instructor. If another answer, other than the ones that have already been marked as correct, is entered by the student, the instructor can mark a new answer as correct by clicking on the tick button on the left of that particular answer. On the student's view, you'll see that it is marked as incorrect. Now, by clicking on this tick, you'll see that it is marked as correct and learner will award efficacy points. This is a click on target activity. On the left, as a student, they would have to click on a specific point to identify the corresponding area for each term. Then they can click on the arrow to go to the next term, and then they click Submit Response. This is a multiple choice question. All the student has to do is select whichever they think is the correct answer, and we'll skip to answer as well. This is a multiple select question. Here the student can select. Here students can choose whichever options they think is correct. And we will be able to review and see the answers. This is a matching activity. Here the students will be able to see the hotspots and they have to match it with the terms that you have provided. On the top right corner, you will find the exit button to leave this page. On the bottom right corner, you will find the finish button to finalize this live polling session. After clicking yes submit, it will also exit out the student and then it will show them their total amount scored. This will automatically be synced with your LMS.